share with you this really precious verse, and then I'm going to write it down, and maybe y'all can get a pen, magic marker, something like that, where you can write down the verse with me. And I love going through scripture, and it's today is August 25th, and so I'm used, I'm going through, starting with Psalms. I go through Psalms. That's part of my quiet time, and I love the Message Bible. And so I use, I start with Psalm 25, and then I add 30 to each number. So it's Psalm 25, then add 30, Psalm 55, then add 30, Psalm 85. So I keep on adding the 30. So every month I go through the Psalms. And so <laughs> I've been doing this for years and it hits my heart so deeply where these Psalms have become my friends. These Psalms have carried me. I mean, just God's word. And you know how much I, I love just sharing God's word and sharing art and you put it together and you and I love drawing God's word and drawing what I see, I feel like you know I see from the scripture. So today, oh hello Renee. Happy happy day to you from Atlanta. You're watching from Atlanta. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and feel free if y'all have questions, I'll try to jump up and look at, you know, my phone what I'm videoing with and see y'all's um, questions if you have questions while I'm doing this. But I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to write the scripture and then I'm going to go into Sharing with y'all my favorite art supplies. Y'all may want to take notes, but, um, oh, hello, Emma. Yay, Emma. And hello, Katie. Oh, my goodness. So fun to see y'all pop on here. So I'm going to switch the camera around, and then y'all can see kind of like my messy, my messy studio because it is definitely a mess, but that's kind of the fun. I mean, I kind of get it messy, and then I clean it up, then I get it messy again. I have some of my favorite supplies already laid out, but what I want to do is, if y'all can see this clearly... I want to take this psalm, and what I wrote down, this is kind of an example. This is one of my favorite art supplies right here. <laughs> it's my sketchbook, and I use it as my journal, and, I can, and you can get it from Amazon. In fact, I'm going to have links and all this from Amazon, and I'm putting this on YouTube. It's going to be a lot of fun because I'm sending out emails with these tutorials that I do on my fun Fridays, and so I have supply lists and all that on my blog, on my website, and on YouTube and in my email. So you'll have the supply list if you want to look at all my favorite supplies. But, okay, so, oh, hello, Annie and Reno. Fall is in the air. Kids are in school. Colors in the garden are changing. Excited for what is happening. Oh, Annie, I love that. I love that so much. Okay, since, so, speaking of school, Annie, we are, I just love this verse, and it just hit me today, and I thought, because I was just praying this morning, okay, I knew I wanted to share my art supplies, but I wanted to share a verse too. And I felt like this is what God led me to. And this is what it says. And this is the message version. Show me how you work, God. School me in your ways. Take me by the hand and lead me down the path of truth. Psalm 25, 4, 5. Again, this is the message version. Yes, I love this journal. Y'all, I have gone through so many sketchbooks, but I have landed on this one because it's just, I like the looseness. I like the, how you can bend it. And I carry it with me everywhere. And y'all, I just love blank pages. I can't help myself. I just love it. I love blank pages so much because I can doodle. I can write my verses. And this is like a normal way I do my quiet time. I write the ver I write the date, the year, and then I write. And I write usually like this morning. This is just a sample. Oh, good. You made it on time. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just imagining all of y'all watching. It's just so much fun because I'm imagining all of us watching all from... Are different places. So what I want to do today is take this verse and write it out with just a little, okay, this is my little pen that I actually write in paint, but I think I can still write it. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to use a permanent pen so y'all can see it better. So I'm going to find, oh, here's my little pen holder. My mother-in-law gave this to me years ago, and I love this so much. So I'm going to figure out which kind of pen I want to use, and this is how I usually do it. I'm like, do I want that kind? I don't know. SC, maybe. Oh, I like that. And then S and 1.5. Oh, I like that too. I think I'm going to go with 1.5. Okay, so that's kind of how I do a lot of things. It just depends on the day. And this is what I was going to encourage y'all to do. Like if you have a piece of paper, this is a this is a mixed media paper, so it's pretty thick. It's like cardstock. And right here you can see it's mixed media. I got it. I just ripped it out of this notebook, 98 pounds. It's a 9 by 12, but I just took like a leftover page and cut it out. So what I want to do is I'm going to, I just feel like, number one, it's really, y'all, it's so powerful to write scripture. And then I want to, let's see, I think I'm going to do 1.5. So I feel like when we write scripture, this something that's very special 
I'm sure there's lots of research on the brain and how we, oh, the verse. It's Psalm 25, 4 through 5, and it's the message. But I'm going to write it right here, Diane, so you'll see it. But I just feel like I'm going to doodle. This is kind of how I do things, where I just doodle around. I love making little borders, and I've shared this with y'all before. I love making borders and then writing the verse inside the border. But what I want to do is share with you this verse, and then we'll get into my favorite art supplies. But, um, <laughs> oh, yes, I do love Dorothy Draper. Oh, I think I missed, um, oh, you just finished a book about designer Dorothy Draper. Her design so remind, oh, my goodness, that's so fun. Because, um, uh-oh, let me go to my, my video. Okay, sorry about that. I was looking at y'all's messages, and it flipped. Okay, so I love Dorothy Draper, by the way. Okay, so this is show me. I just think this is such a beautiful prayer to pray when we are just seeking God about daily things and decisions. Show me how you work. I don't think it was, I don't think it has a hyphen right there. <laughs> I just put a hyphen. Show me how you work, God. And I'm a pillow of heart. And I love this. School me. Y'all, school is starting. It started, well, it started about two and a half weeks ago for us. So we are definitely in the beginning of school land. School me in your ways. I just love that. Like teach me God, school me in your ways. And I just think this is such a beautiful, let me get, get home down, just get a little bit closer. And I love this. Take me by the hand. Again, I think it's really, you know, if y'all want to just always like, I'm always going to be talking about scripture, either painting it or writing it and I think it's really so if y'all come on fun Fridays then you can just grab a pen and write scripture with me just a slowing down of our brain and writing down scripture I write again I write down scripture tons of scripture every morning okay so show me how you work God school me in your ways take me by the hand by see here I take me by <laughs> the hand lead me down the path of, and I'm going to write this in bubble letters, truth. So key. I think this is a great verse to claim, or actually it's a passage, but just to claim if you're making a decision, if you're just asking God, like, God, just lead me and guide me. And this is Psalm 25 from the message version, four through five. Right message right here, MSG, message. So this is just a little idea that you can take your piece of paper, cut it out. I just love cutting paper. I don't know what it is about scissors. It's kind of like back to grade school. Of, oh, let's just cut out. Let's make like little, little curves. And it's amazing how it just transforms a whole little piece of paper. And then you can set it somewhere in the kitchen or in your bathroom, your bedroom, where you can see it all the time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get watercolors. I'm only going to pick out one color. You can probably guess what color I'm going to use, and I'm just going to get this wet a little bit, not very much, but I'm going to pick my favorite color from my watercolors, and this is how simple it can be. You could get a magic marker, you could get a color pencil, a Crayola, I mean, there's so many different ways you can do this. All you have to do is add a little bit of color, just takes a few minutes, and voila. Of course, I'm coloring out of the lines, and then you could just kind of take me by the hand, like underline things. And I think of God just taking us by the hand so gently and so sweetly. And he wants to show us so much. And a lot of times, you know how I had my fun Friday. It was two weeks ago about the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I love that because just that concept of being still before God and listening to his voice. And I, and I also shared a lot of times in the being still, like we may have to take action after the being still. It's but we have to go to God first and listen to his voice and be quiet and still. And it's really keeping that posture before Jesus and going to him again and again. Okay, so I just did that very simply. You see how simple that was? One color, I just went around and I made my verse and it just makes me happy. So then with that, show me how you work, God. School me in your ways. Take me by the hand. Lead me down the path of truth. So there we have it. We have our sweet passage of scripture from Psalm 25 on Friday, August 25th. And this can be our little heart verse for the day. It could be our heart verse for the month. It can be our heart verse for the weekend. I love to carry truth. I feel like scripture 
is absolutely so powerful and totally transforms our days, totally transforms our minds, totally gives us that grounding that we need. And I have to have that daily when I, before I do anything, I like to get into God's word, write out scripture, and I get into my journal. So with that, I'm going to start showing you my favorite art supplies. So I'm going to zoom up the camera a little bit so you can see, and you can take notes on this if you want. I'm going to put this over here so you can still see this, but I'm going to go through some of the, my favorite things. And honestly, I have, I've been painting for 20 years, really about 21 years, like really getting into painting. I started selling, I've been selling my paintings for 20 years, but y'all, I've gone through lots of different art supplies, but the, what I have figured out is I usually land on favorite things. And so sometimes my supplies, it, it took me a long time to figure out, okay, I really love this. I really love that. So. I'm going to start off with brushes, and these are called motor brushes, and you can get these on Amazon. They're not that expensive. I have gone through so many types of brushes, and I've bought the really expensive kind, and then I, you know, I mess that brush up. I'm thinking, why did I spend so much money on that brush? I love these because just the way they feel. They're, I love round tip. If you can see the round tip, and you can get a whole, just a whole batch of them, and they just don't cost that much. And so sometimes you can pay a lot of money for one brush. I used to go into art stores and feel so intimidated by all the art supplies and thinking, oh my goodness, you have to be a billionaire to order all these art supplies. But then I realized, no, I mean, we can just get some cheaper supplies and then that gives us more freedom to create. And so if you're thinking about, okay, I want to, I want to add some more art supplies, or maybe you just want to buy some new things that you've never bought before and just try some things out and try some things out here in our fun Fridays, because that's what I'm teaching about different methods of art in very simplistic ways. And this is what we did last week. We showed you a little bit about painting with acrylic and I'm going to show you some of my favorite paints that I have of acrylic. So mutter brushes, number one, then I love, let me just go into Faber Castell. I love these kind of pens. They're fa they're permanent. Really, any permanent pen will work with watercolor, but you have to get a permanent pen if you're painting with watercolor and you're outlining things. Like, let's say with this, with this verse, I if it was not watercolor, if it was water-based, I mean, if it was not permanent, if I didn't use a permanent pen, it would probably bleed quite a bit. So I always try to use a permanent pen. And then let's move into... Oh my goodness, some of my favorite watercolors. And, you know, I kind of stick with these just because I love them because they just, I love them because they just are little, they come very compact. Like, I can easily open this up and voila, I have my watercolor set. And it doesn't get all messy. I mean, it's messy inside, but I can close it up. I put it, I always take these traveling. I take this with me everywhere. These I haven't used as much, but I, these are really pretty. They're shimmery lights. You can get all of these on Amazon, pastel dreams. And if you don't want to invest in, you know, something like this, you can always get like the cheaper watercolors, just like the little stick of watercolors and try that. And then you can kind of work up to, oh, then I'm going to try the classics and then try one little watercolor set and get comfortable with it. So I, ha I love these sets mainly because the colors in them, and also they're easy to travel with. Again, I talked about my sketchbook. Absolutely love my sketchbook. I fill it to the brim. I literally go through a whole sketchbook in one month. That's kind of what, I, what I'm doing now, and I probably should write smaller and do all that, but that's kind of how I work and my brain works. Again, feel free to answer, I mean, to ask questions. And then another thing is I painted this. This is a Moleskine journal. You can see Moleskine, right? I don't know if you can see that, but I love Moleskine journals. I use these, um, and you can see I did the Lemonade Girl. In fact, I did this again in the Fun Fridays of just drawing the lemonade. And when life gives you lemons, make pink lemonade. And it's just so much fun to paint and paint from some kind of verse or quote. And my whole quote and what I shared about in this lesson, you can go back to it in the Facebook or also it's on my blog. But and you can find that on my website, by the way, under God Made Girl Club. And, oh, under go under freebies on my website, and then you can find all my tutorials. I'm going to start kind of building a library there. But I love this whole concept of really looking at life going, be truly glad there's wonderful joy ahead. But I take these moleskines to, to my um, church, and this is what I draw in in church. So I go through lots of pages. I should have brought that, but I love drawing to the sermon. I love just drawing to scripture again. So... 
Okay, so that's there. That's some of my favorites right there. And then, as far as paints, I love using the basics acrylic. The 12 piece is great to start off with. They come in these little sizes that are, it's not too overwhelming, but basic acrylics and the Liquitex brand, I mean, they are my favorite because they're not too expensive, but they're not too cheap. I think craft paint, it gets li really liquidy and watery, and I like to, I love to have texture in my paint. So, I love basic acrylics. And so you can just buy like a little set to get started. And then I love using gloss varnish, Liquitex acrylic medium to add paper and buttons. And you can all add all kinds of things when you add like a gloss varnish. And this is a gloss varnish that you can use as a gel medium, like to make things stick. And then you can varnish over your painting. Like let's say you want to varnish your painting and put a coating over it when you're finished. Well, you can use this as well, and it can and it can function as a glue, basically. And you can use Mod Podge as well, but this is kind of what I use, what I kind of go to with. And also, I will say that I love the gloss, but you may love the matte. So the gloss makes things shine more. And then I also like EarthSafe Finishes Varnish Gloss, and it's no VOC, non-toxic, it's water-based. I like to use this as well. It doesn't have such a strong smell. And so this is not through Amazon, but you can get it through EarthSafe Finishes in that website. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on going. And again, if y'all have questions about any of these art supplies, feel free to comment. Stickles, y'all, I love stickles. They're basically like little glittery, magical um, bottles that are easy to dispense, like you just squeeze it on. And especially when I'm making note cards and things like that, with watercolors, I use stickles all the time. I love adding the glitter and it's so much fun. So I'm thinking about all the different things. Oh, let me show you my canvases I love. So these are Blick Studio Gallery Profile. 11. This is an 11 by 14, so it's a pretty big canvas, but the side of it is really, it's a gallery profile, which means it's thick. It's like one and a half inches thick, or it says one and three eighths inches profile. But I love it because you paint the sides of it and you can just put it on the wall. And if you had a traditional canvas, which they call the traditional, a thinner canvas on the side, then usually you can frame it. You know, you can frame that and put it on the wall. I just like to stick straight the canvas on the wall and it's done. It's the edges are painted and it's ready to go. So this is what I use, the Blick Studio Stretch Canvas Gallery Profile. And you can find that at Blick.com. And I, these are my favorite canvases. So... So many fun things to share. I'm thinking, I, I think I went through all the fun things. If y'all have any other questions about art supplies that I use, but those are the main things that I do. Oh, and then I shared this at the very beginning. I love the mixed media paper. I use it all the time. It's like, it's like a cardstock, but instead of using watercolor paper, I really enjoy using like a thick paper. And so, and you can see, I just draw some of these, I think all this is upside down, but but anyway, I love drawing on these, uh, on this paper, and it's just a lot of fun. So, that is it. That, those are my fun art supplies I wanted to share with you. And then I'll have a whole list out when, in my, um, under freebies on my website. On, and then I have a YouTube, getting a YouTube channel where I'm kind of putting in more and more of art tutorials there. And I love my sketchbook. I love my little moleskine. and I painted my happy birdie on it. In fact, I have a tutorial about a, a birdie, too. And that's it. So I'm going to, oh, and then let me just say this one more time. Show me how you work, God. School me in your ways. Take me by the hand. Lead me down the path of truth. What a great verse to start our new season, September, by. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera around. And I'm so thankful that y'all um, are here. And if again, if y'all have questions or want to say anything, um, let me know and I can answer them. But... I will say paintbrushes, they're all, it's always great not to go so upgrading with every, you know, getting the best of the best because I remember when I first started out with painting, I needed to have the freedom to mess up my paintbrushes, to get things like they just, I wanted to make sure that I had paint that wasn't so expensive because paint can be really expensive and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I just wasted, you know, all this money from one little tube of paint. And so this really helps because it's not the top grade. And I will say this, in the past I've used, uh, when I really want like a vibrant color and really vibrant cherry red, I would buy more of the upgraded color, like the Liquitex Artist color. And 
I would just use that one tube sparingly. And, but I would get this really pretty cherry red that I couldn't get with a student with the basic acrylics. Or a lot of times too, this is another little art hack that I use, is if I see a piece of paper with this brilliant color on it, I can put that paper, especially when I'm doing flowers, I put that paper in there and that creates the most amazing color that I really can't get with the paint. And so I put that paper in and then I use, I didn't even show y'all paper, but, and then I use like a gel medium or you could use Mod Podge. But let me show you this, like, this is like wrapping paper that I'm just, this has been sitting here that I was wrapping presents with. I just tear the wrapping paper and I can stick these colors into a painting and these colors can shine out in a really bright way. And y'all, adding paper to paintings is so much fun. And that's called mixed media. And I love doing that. In fact, most of, and you see this girl in the background, that's an Esther. And just see how her dress is done. Her arms are coming down beside her dress. Uh, I love doing that style and adding all the paper to her dress. It's just so much fun. And adding paper to her flowers and all that. So, again, it's just their sky is the limit. I mean, it's just like you can do so much with art and play around with it. And then play is such a big thing for me. So y'all, um, I think that's it for today. I just want to share with you that verse that meant so much to my heart. And I hope it encourages your heart just with, as you walk into each day and having that posture, that mindset of God, just show me your way and lead me down the path of truth. If you're going it, if you're bumping up against like, okay, a decision, just like, wondering like, God, what should I do? And just go, okay, God, hold my hand. I just picture God holding my hand, leading me down the path of truth. And he will show us, he will show us like leading us and just decisions that we make daily and just abiding with him, listening to his heart is so precious and so key, especially as we move into new seasons, like we're moving into the fall and carrying like new verses with us. I always love to have like things that I kind of hold on to. um, with verses. And I do that too with, I was just telling a friend, like I love having word pictures and verses together where it's like, I think of a word picture. If I'm praying specifically for something for a friend, I picture a word picture and then I have a verse that kind of undergirds it. And I love that as well. In fact, I need to teach that too in drawing something like, okay, if someone tells you something like, Hey, please pray for my, my family or so, or my daughter or my mom or whatever it is. And then I picture that word picture of like, I'm praying for that person and then I have scripture undergirding it. And so I need to, again, I, I'm thinking of specific things I can share with you, share with you more as we continue these fun Fridays. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this time and learned some fun things of your, of my favorite art supplies that you could get using your own art, making and creating. I think it's so, again, it's so wonderful. And it's such a gift from God that we have this beauty of this all around us. And then we get the joy of creating, whether it's just like, creating, making cupcakes and decorating cupcakes or drawing on a piece of paper. It's just so much fun to do. So I pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and just feel God's smile and love over you as he truly takes our hand and he leads us. And happy day to y'all. Happy Friday.